It was supposed to be an easy day of riding. I can hopefully fix this thing. I was far away from home and had very little tools. My attempts at improvising a repair had failed. The box was heavy and too cumbersome to hold the 50 miles to return home. I had to figure out a way to reattach it and get back on the road. Hey, you guys have a welding machine? I'm currently outside of Brownsburg, Virginia, and I'm riding to a really awesome uh, place called the Natural Chimneys. It's a natural chimney formations that are millions of years old. It's about 50 miles away, and I wanted to just give you a I wanted to give you an inside look as to what the Del Mar is like when you ride uh, without stopping. State Route 252, a local artery now gone cold. Once a beacon of roadway bliss is now a forgotten throughway of a bygone era. You can still spot the ancient ones in this valley. General stores, post offices, petrol stations, old cars and lonely villages that were once a thriving thoroughfare. It was the old way north and south before interstate travel was introduced in the mid 1950s. It's here on these forgotten backcountry roads that I discover the true beauty of riding an electric motorcycle. Even though these curves, turns, and bends don't see as much action as they used to, they still invite the occasional twists of a throttle, no matter what you're riding. Let's see what's back there. I don't feel like discovering if there's bears in this cave or not because I can't really see into it. Eyes are taking too long to adjust. See if there's any bears back there. percent someone's camped out here in the past I would have totally camped out here if I was a early early a pioneer or early adventurer all right well that was cool now I gotta figure out how to fix my tail assembly Gotta find somebody with a welder around here. We're in the country, so I don't think it'll be that hard. No. Do you know anybody around here that does? No, there's nobody we know of. Alright, thank you.
Okay, so now the plan. I'm just gonna have to hold this thing. It's my only, my only choice. Oh man, I didn't realize how, how heavy this thing was. <sighs> and there was one, there was one bump. I mean, it was a hard bump. And I'm absolutely certain that that is what caused this thing to snap. Now, another option would be to just leave this thing somewhere and then just come back and get it. That is also an option to do because I definitely do not want to ride 50 miles like this. And this is something that... I definitely could not do. Well, I guess you could do it with a traditional bike. Pulling the clutch there. Well, I definitely didn't see the day going like this. These ancient places invoke the old ways of adventure travel. Old lands, old buildings, old communities, and old ways of getting directions. <laughs> Just some uh, cold roll steel. Snapped off the back. I had a I had a, a really nice bump back there. Snapped it off. A nice bump. I did my best to hear the old man's instructions. His distant tongue spoke in the forgotten ways of travel, a way long before the times of Google, GPS, and Uber. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I almost dropped this thing just now. I'm at the intersection. Oh, it's starting to get harder to carry. Oh, my arm's definitely getting tired now. I think this is it. Wonder if I could get a commission you for emergency repair. I uh, seem to have found a decent sized bump and snapped my my luggage rack. I do uh, adventure travel videos. In spite of wars and tourism and pictures by satellite, the world is just the same size it ever was. It is awesome to think of how much of it I will never see. It is not a trick to go around these days. You can pay a lot of money and fly around it non-stop in less than 48 hours. But to know it, to smell it, and to feel it between your toes, you have to crawl. There is no other way. Rotated and then pushed in. Gentlemen, thank you. Well, that was definitely cool. So glad that these guys were here out in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing like a couple of country boys. You know if you come out of the country, somebody's going to know how to weld. And now we're, we're back on our, on our mission, back on track. I'm actually going to I'm gonna head back to the uh, to the natural chimneys, charge for a little bit, 
and then head back home. But I, you know what? Just like I always say, it's it's never an adventure until something goes wrong. And by God, something today <laughs> went wrong. I uh, talked to Ryan for a bit. He kind of told me some different uh, thick wall thickness metal to use to uh, reinforce the uh, the luggage rack. So I, whenever I get home, I'll start looking at ordering some some materials to fix her up. But uh, I just wanted to, to just thank the patrons. Uh, if were it not for you guys, uh, I wouldn't have the ability to, to pay Ryan for the work that uh, that they did. So I really do appreciate you guys uh, for, for sponsoring me month to month. And this is just a, a perfect example as to why uh, I, I needed you guys to help me out with these adventures. So 